the uh, legal world of commerce uh, will use terms like if someone rips you off or you haven't been paid, let's say I've been stiffed. Uh, interestingly, the legal world operates in the concept of the dead, the corpus, um, and we know that a stiff is many times used to describe a dead body. That's a stiff. So uh, we, uh, we enter into commerce uh, using a pen and you have intercourse with the state. And I always tell people that when you're chasing the money, a stiff pen has no conscience because uh, it'll have intercourse all the time because it's always stiff. Uh, with the state. So we have to be uh, in understanding that the end game with the rich and those in power that operate and control the satanic world uh, that is around us that is focused on gain and commerce uh, and war and all the violence that's out there over that and the power that is being struggled uh, to be used against good uh, is already spoken of in the bible in a damnation uh, if we i'm gonna i'm reading out of the uh again the the american standard the it's a gideon bible it's handed out many times handed out in prisons and the james chapter 5 was talking about the rich and what the situation would be with those that they manipulated uh, with their titles and control uh, and so we're gonna we're gonna read uh, out of there uh, now the King James clearly says that the wealthy or the rich uh, that will eventually pay for their actions on what they did to the poor and the ignorant and those that they manipulated falsely uh, they will actually um, pay for their fraud and uses the word fraud frauds not used many times in the Bible but it's used there so it's, it's talking about the deceit of the system and the commerce that you're surrounded with right now. So uh, James 5 starts off, Come now, you rich, weep and howl for your miseries which are coming upon you. Your riches have rotted and your garments have been moth-eaten. Your gold and your silver have rusted and their rust will be a witness against you and will consume your flesh like fire. It is in the last days that you have stored up your treasure. Behold the pay of the laborers who have mowed down, who have mowed your fields and which have been withheld by you cries out against you. And the outcry of those who did the harvesting has reached the ears of the Lord of Sabella. Now, we're, we're seeing here that that is the situation for the hired hand that's out there laboring in there um the king james was clear it says they were held back by fraud they weren't paid and you can't pay someone with debt so they were never ever given something that truly would have been theirs it's it's just allowed to be in their hands but it's never really theirs and so people have been chasing this carrot of wealth um but uh the satanic world that operates this doesn't reward its followers and it, uh, uh, it basically leads to a, a horrible end. So uh, if you feel that you've been stiff, there's a good reason for it because you're working in the world of the dead and that's where the stiffs are. So of course you'd be stiff and you need something stiff in order to sign and sin. Um, so therefore, have we been warned? Were we told? When they mention the fields that were harvested down, they're not talking about a, a literally all the fields of like farming um it's it's everything all the trades all the occupations that are controlled by licenses and uh special permission in order to operate in there so you're uh you're surrounded by that realm of legal um the stiffs that walk around there um in zombie behavior as they're like robots uh with no conscience uh, basically with greed and uh, gain and basically dishonesty uh, surrounding their whole thoughts. It's an unconscionable world and therefore a stiff pen has no conscience.